You are now listening to the Pelicans Post Game Report. Flash Report. For all things Pelicans, you're now tuned into the Pelican Post Game Report. I'm Big Q chiming in on this Flash Report, man. And today, Pelican Center Jackson Hayes was arrested. Then he was hospitalized after a brawl with the cops, according to TMZ, who first broke this earlier today or earlier yesterday. You can see the timeline. His update is at 7:12 p.m. Hayes posted a $25,000 bill. He's been released from custody. Uh, and then later on, you see the timeline that it was told Hayes had been booked for battery on law enforcement officers, which is a felony. His bill was set at $25,000. The Pelicans have addressed it, and we'll cover that. Let's get into the article as the New Orleans Pelican Center Jackson Hayes, who's the number. Eighth overall pick in 2019, his NBA draft was arrested after an alleged violent altercation with police. TMZ has learned, and it apparently got so extreme that the Hooper and a cop were taken to a hospital and were told law enforcement were called to a Los Angeles area home for domestic disturbance earlier Wednesday morning when the cops attempted to check in on the parties involved. 21 year old Hayes tried like hell to keep them from entering the premises. Sources tell us that the 6'11", 220 pound Hayes got combative with the cops and a fight broke out with the ex-Texas Long Home star getting tased in the middle of the scuffle. The brawl was allegedly so intense, police put out an officer needs help radio call. Now Hayes has been taken to a nearby hospital to get treatment for minor injuries and an officer involved in the fight also sought treatment, although the condition is unknown. Now Hayes is expected to be booked for felony battery on a police officer. Cops are still investigating the initial alleged domestic incident, but both parties have been uncooperative. And of course they said they reached out to Hayes reps with no word back as mentioned the latest was that he posted a twenty-five thousand dollar bill and was released from custody now in terms of with pelicans a tweet was then released saying quote we have been made aware of the incident involving jackson hayes we're working in conjunction with the nba and jackson's representatives to gather more information and we'll have no further comment at this time end quote so the pelicans comment uh, getting close to the NBA draft. This happens, of course, the trade of Stephen Adams and Eric Bledsoe a day before. As the Pelicans continue to be in the news cycle, both positive and negative. And, of course, another bit of news for our Pelican flock members. NBA trade deadline rumors or trade rumors. Lakers, Mavericks, Pelicans interested in Nets. Landry Shamet. So this is another article. And, of course, as we get closer to the draft, a lot of rumors are circulating as teams are looking to improve upon themselves. The Pelicans are right in the middle of the fray. The Pelicans are doing their due diligence. They're working the phone lines and they're asking about different players. And Shamet's one of those guys. Let's get this one from Tyler Conway. The Lakers, Pelicans, and Mavericks have reportedly expressed interest in trading for Brooklyn Nets guard Landry Shamet ahead of the 2021 NBA draft. Now, Ian Bagley of the SNY reported several teams have contacted the Nets regarding Shamet's offering their first round pick. The Pelicans have the 17th selection and the Lakers sit at the 22nd pick Thursday night, but the Mavericks do not have a selection in the first round. Now, under the, the Stephen rule, the Lakers must make their selection at 22 because of the draft pick sent to New Orleans as a part of the Davis trade. They can then trade the rights to that player after the selection is then made. Now, what's interesting about Shamet, well, he will make uh, just under $4 million for next season, the final year of his rookie contract. His affordability is likely a significant factor in his interest in the league as he's proven himself a reliable threat from downtown. Now, he's 24 years of age. He averaged 9.3 points a game with just under two rebounds last season while shooting just under 39% from downtown, making 2.13 pointers per game. Despite playing for three organizations as many NBA seasons, the fir former first-round pick out of Wichita State has been consistently able to adapt his new surroundings and provide reliable floor spacing off the bench. So the Nets may want to retain him on the roster for that reason, but any extensions would increase their looming tax bill if the team feels it can get Shamet level contributor in a draft and reset the clock on the rookie contract. It might be a prudent deal. So the Pelicans have been, you know, keyed up with this very interesting uh, player right here. Now Shamet is, uh, is is does help with three point shooting as well. So another 
another player that the Pelicans are interested in moving forward. So as they do, they do diligence. So a lot of information is coming out on the fact that Pelicans more than likely would allow Lonzo Ball to leave in free agency if somebody were to sign Lonzo. They're more than likely not to uh, match any deal that he gets. So it just appears. Well, I don't know if it's true or not, but a lot of the insiders are saying that the Pelicans are are willing to let Lonzo Ball leave. I, I really think that's a, a issue, and we'll see how it goes, man, with it. So we'll, we'll cover this and more as we get closer and closer to the draft, which will have a full draft show uh, starting tomorrow. So y'all hit your like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the hell out the subscribe button, hit the bell as well, help out the Pelican post game report. And we'll be covering the draft in its entirety, man. We'll be live for the summation of time. And I appreciate y'all for listening to this. Please hit the like button, subscribe, and we'll see you on the draft show. Peace. Go Pels. Subscribe now and stay up to date for all things New Orleans Pelicans.